uh, compared to who, who, <laughs> these guys that were running against him. And it was night and day. I mean, just millions and millions of dollars. So it's virtually impossible to run against these guys. It is. It is impossible. And because of that, in the 2014 election, 58% of the incumbents ran unopposed in their primary. 58% didn't even have to fight against anybody in the primary. Wow. And then you get to the general election and you have a voter who has, you know, somebody that they may not particularly care for or somebody of the other party. Wow. It's a catch 22. It's, they're between a rock and a hard place. They're going to vote the party line and you get the incumbent back in the office. All right. Well, real quick, because we're almost out of time, I want to ask you about this. In May 1995, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled that states cannot impose term limits. How do we get around that? Supreme Court ruled that individual states could not limit their representatives separate from other representatives in the federal government. What we are doing is we are making it constitutional. That's we right. are adding an amendment to the Constitution that says all of Congress is limited. So it is even across the board. It's not the states doing it to their own individual representatives. This will be a constitutional amendment, just like the 22nd Amendment that was passed in the 1950s that limited presidential terms. Well, fantastic. I love the sound of it, Victoria, and it's good to have you on our side. Uh, we got your back. And come on, folks, just a couple of minutes of your time. Sign the petition and let's kick out 227 career politicians out of Congress. Together, we can do it. Thank you for joining us, Victoria. Thank you, sir. All right. That's right, folks. Congress is not going to limit themselves, so it is up to us. And, you know, if I had a dollar for every time a politician used term limits as a campaign promise and then turned around and changed his mind, well, I'd be rich as a, well, I'd be rich as a member of Congress. Hey, we're going to be right back. We're going to talk about Donald Trump's flip-flopping when the InfoWars nightly news returns right after this. Stick around. This is an American president. Just add puppet, then vote and repeat every four years. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Vote for Jeb, or you're just fucking stupid. Fool me, we can't get fooled again. I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. And I know this for a fact, nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. Take advantage of this at InfoWarsLife.com. Clean, toxic-free body is the foundation of true health. Introducing Deep Cleanse by InfoWarsLife.com, a scientifically formulated blend of nanocolloidal zeolites and organic ingredients that aid the body in cleansing chemicals and toxic metals. Using our proprietary multi-step extraction technology, Deep Cleanse is our most affordable all-in-one cleanser. With concentrated organic compounds like cilantro, milk thistle, fulvic acid, orange peel, zeolites, and others, Deep Cleanse doesn't hold back. Instead of buying five, six, or even seven different 
cleansing products. We use decades-old scientific research to put together the Rolls-Royce of all-in-one cleansing. Look, there's a reason Deep Cleanse is the only product on the market that uses our proprietary Spigerex herbal processing technique. We use only the highest quality organic herbs backed by serious research, and we still bring it to you at the best price out there. If you wish to find Deep Cleanse and experience the all-in-one cleansing, visit InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Or call 888-253-3139. Introducing Secret 12, the new InfoWars Life Vitamin B12 formulation. Most forms of vitamin B12 are highly processed and synthetic and could not be properly absorbed by the body. That's why for real results, so many are having to turn to painful B12 injections, which are known to have higher absorption rates. Now, InfoWarsLife.com is excited to announce that we can bring you our most bioactive, powerful form of B12 that has been developed with our exclusive perfected process. Secret 12 is a binary of nutramedical grade bioavailable coenzyme forms of B12, methylcobalamin, the same kind used in B12 injections, and adenosylcobalamin. Secret 12 is simply taken by mouth, right on the tongue, and then swallowed. No needles, no injections. Don't take my word for it. Try it for yourself. Discover the secret. Secret 12. Secure your revolutionary Secret 12 formula right now at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Introducing the first proprietary oxygen-based intestinal cleanser, OxyPowder. Backed by real FDA-approved phase one, two, and three clinical trials. People are suffering from all kinds of digestive issues these days. All the toxins from the air, the food, the water, ultimately ends up in the gut or affects the gut. My main focus was to come up with a remedy for this, something that's safe and effective that anyone can take on a regular basis to keep their intestinal lining clean. My recommendation is to clean your intestines at least two to three times a week to prevent the toxic buildup from going into your bloodstream. Take your health into your own hands and start cleansing your body today with Oxy Powder. Secure your Oxy Powder today at InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Welcome back to the InfoWars Nightly News. Coming up later in our broadcast, we're going to take a special look at how Donald Trump seems to be folding under pressure. Looks like he's going to finally sign the loyalty agreement to pledge his loyalty to the Republican Party. Again, that's later in the broadcast. But right now, we are going to show you, and i got to warn you, this is some disturbing video that's come out of Mexico. It's going viral, viral right now on YouTube and Facebook. And it shows a group of young schoolgirls going into convulsions after reportedly taking the Gardasil vaccine. And this was, again, at a school in Mexico where they lined up the kids, gave them the shot. We've seen other videos like this, very disturbing, but this should be a warning to us all. This is what happens or what can happen when you take your children in to take the HPV shot. And uh, we're here, Rob Dew, our uh, news director is here with us right now. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about this video. I know you stumbled across it last night. That's right. Very yeah. alarming. Posted it right away on InfoWars. Yeah. Tell us more about it. Yeah, it's very disturbing. It was sent to me from Twitter. I went to the link, and I, I couldn't believe it. It was a whole room, whole room full of girls that just take, uh, just took the shot. Now, I, did, I couldn't really translate what the guy was saying. Uh, we had one of our interns in the office, Carmen, said, you know what? Uh, they really don't know what's going on. They're asking for help. Um, but you can see they're fanning people, so they're hot. It's probably a fever, which is usually associated with a febrile seizure. And you can go on the CDC website, and they talks about childhood vaccine, vaccines and febrile seizures. What is a febrile seizure? Roll that video, and let's tell them about it. Sometimes fever can cause a child to experience spasms or jerky movements called seizures. Seizures by fever are called febrile seizures and are most common fevers of 102 or higher, but they can also happen at a lower body temperature when the fever is going down. Most febrile seizures last for less than one or two minutes. They can be frightening, but nearly all children who have febrile seizures recover quickly, and they don't cause any permanent harm and do not have any lasting effects. Um, and then down here, it says how they can increase when they have different, uh, the PVC-13 vaccine and the DTaP given with the flu vaccine. But it also says, look at that, vaccines can help prevent febrile seizures. Oh. Right, just like the young girls that we just showed 
having febrile seizures after the vaccine. Now, what they're also trying to say is that it's a gene and only one in a thousand kids will experience this. This is from uh, Yahoo News uh, from the Associated Free Press. Uh, scientists in Denmark are saying that this is back in 2014, that there is a chance you could have these seizures, but it's, only, it's because you have a certain gene, you're predisposed to have them. It's not the vaccine's fault. It's never the vaccine's fault. And here's another study from Ann Berg, PhD, seizure risk with vaccine. She says there are, and her conclusion is there are significantly elevated risks of febrile seizures on the day of receipt of the DTaP vaccine and eight to 14 days after the receipt of the MMR. But these risks do not appear to be associated with any long-term adverse consequences, unless you count ADHD as an adverse consequence, unless you count um, dyslexia, unless you count allergies, unless you count narcolepsy, <laughs> all the things that are listed as possible uh, side effects of vaccination if you go and look in the insert, which a lot of people don't do. They're afraid to look at the insert because it's small writing. They don't want to take the time. They'd rather watch TV. But look, I, and show that video of the girl in the in the hospital room. This could be your kid. Well, and I was just going to say these videos are popping up more and more, and this is horrible. I mean, it, exactly right. This could be your child, and this isn't a an isolated incident. We have a video out of New Zealand from uh, earlier this year where it's a very hard video to watch. It's a 12 year old girl who's who's going into convulsions as well, and the mother said that if if she she just wished obviously mm -hmm. that she would have researched it. Uh, yeah. But now it's too late. And, and, that's, and, and that's the thing. Once the damage is done, you're going to have to live with that damage and yeah. try to correct it afterwards, which is a lot harder to do than just preventive maintenance, which is, you know, avoid vaccines. Yeah. Or at least do the research so you know what you're getting into. So you can recognize if your child is having an adverse reaction. And I'm not one to advocate vaccination at all. Well, look, personally. I want to quote, uh, I got a quote from somebody who helped develop Gardasil to begin with. Her, her name is Dr. Diane Harper, and she was at a public conference on vaccinations, the fourth annual one. And she said, quote, Gardasil is largely unnecessary and has never been fully tested on females under the age of 15. There's little need for the vaccine. So, you know, there's somebody that helped develop it to begin with, and she's actually out there in a way advocating not to take the vaccine. They, right. they really, it's, it's been untested. It got pushed through. Again, Very the quickly. FDA, FDA just go ahead and, you know, billions of dollars are involved here. But now we're the conspiracy theorists right. because we see children having convulsions all over the Internet all over YouTube, and it's mm. happening more and more again, but we're the crazy ones. Room fulls of children. And now this art, this uh, study that I pulled up from the American Epilepsy Society, uh, Seizure Risk of Vaccination, this was done in 2002. This was before HPV was even out. I bet, I bet my bottom dollar, they're not doing any studies about risk of seizures with these uh, uh, Gardasil or Cervarex, whatever these vaccines are. But you can see there's a room full of Mexican schoolgirls on the floor convulsing. Now, this I saw, should I saw, piss you off. Oh, it, it, it makes me very angry, and I'm sure a lot of our uh, listeners and people who are watching this right now, they have obviously the same reaction. Some people have read the comments. That some of the boys are smiling and laughing, so they're saying that this is fake, right? But don't you think that they're just nervous? They don't know how to react. and they, It's know, a mean, nervous reaction. Sometimes people smile when they're nervous. They don't yeah. know what's going on. And, you know, if you walk in on something like this, maybe it is kind of, you don't really know the seriousness of it. And yeah. kids usually don't know the seriousness of uh, A lot of, of those this kids stuff. look very concerned. Yeah, they do. They and, be. you know, they're, they've got, they're recruiting schoolboys to hold these girls down so they don't bash their heads into the walls. Because you could see them when they wrench back. The one girl uh, right here in front of us, she sits up for a second, and then she slams her head back down. Yeah, there's the kid. He's smiling about it. Yeah. But he doesn't really get the seriousness of what's going on. You know, and, and the guy shooting the video, um, judging by what the commentary is, he, they, he's asking for help. He's like, what is going on? Why are the kids acting like this? We need help. And they're not getting the answers in these communities that they deserve. They're getting lip service. What, hey, it's safe and effective. Don't worry, it's just a small percentage that are going to have these. It's not lasting harm. I can tell you, without a doubt, lasting harm is going on in these kids' brains. Oh, they're not going to be absolutely. the same people afterwards. Absolutely. Well, let's look at some of the side effects. And, and basically, it, this, this can almost be an ad. It reminds me of one of those ads that you see on television mm -hmm. for, for, for uh, prescription drugs. Gardasil, destroying little girls' lives one injection at a time. And now boys, too, can get the Gardasil shot. Yeah, uh, they can't wait to give it to boys. May cause convulsions, grand mal seizures, deafness, circulatory collapse, blood problems, leading to unexplained bruising or bleeding fainting 
or brief loss of consciousness, chronic fatigue syndrome, foaming at the mouth, blindness, and death. Gardasil. And we had a caller today. Uh, we had several callers talking about the different adverse reactions that their family members